The Havapu, also known as the Havadoodle or the Havanoodle, is the result of crossing a poodle and a Havanese. These toy-sized pups are a friendly and affectionate breed, with lots of energy and a playful nature. They're also family-orientated and love to be around people. The small size of these dogs makes them the perfect companion for those who live in an apartment or do not have the space for a large dog but still want a trusty friend by their side. If you're interested in learning more about the Havapu and seeing whether one of these dogs might be for you, keep watching. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. History of the Havapu. The Havapu is an extremely cute dog, but their popularity only really began to peak in 2018. However, this designer breed has actually been registered with the International Designer Canine Association since 2009. They are also registered with the American Canine Hybrid Club, although under the name, Puvenis. Due to the fact they are not a purebred and are a crossbreed, these dogs are not currently recognized by any major kennel clubs, including the American Kennel Club AKC, and the United Kennel Club UKC. Breed Origin To understand where the Havapu came from, we can take a look at the origins of the parent breeds. The Poodle originated from the French and German border in the 15th and 16th century and was associated with the upper class. Because they are excellent water dogs, they were used to hunt waterfowl. Later on, because of their adorable look, these pups became a very popular dog. The toy poodle was bred from the standard poodle by choosing the smallest pup from each litter and breeding with them. They were first seen in America in the 20th century. The Havanese is originally from Cuba and is still known as the national lapdog of Cuba today. Their popularity began to decline in Cuba in the 20th century, but it was at this time that they were brought to the United States for the first time. The American Kennel Club officially recognized the breed in 1995. The Havapu was bred in America and was bred to be a faithful and loving companion dog. Characteristics of the Havapu Due to the fact that the Havapu is a crossbreed and does not have a breed standard, it can be difficult to know what traits and characteristics each pup might have. Some puppies may inherit more features from their poodle parent, whereas others may inherit from their Havanese parent. However, we can make assumptions based on past litters. These dogs can be expensive. You can expect to pay anywhere between $800 to $1,800 per Havapu puppy, although they can be up to $4,500. Always remember to buy from a reputable breeder. Appearance. The Havanese is crossed with either a miniature poodle or a toy poodle to create the Havapu, and therefore these dogs are small. Normally, they stand between 8 to 15 inches in height and can weigh between 7 to 20 pounds. These dogs have a teddy bear appearance and are incredibly cute. Coat. The type of coat your dog has will depend on which coat they inherit from their parent breeds. The Havanese has a long, silky coat, while the poodle has a tight, curly coat. The Havapu coat can vary greatly from breed to breed. If they inherit the poodle coat, then they may be hypoallergenic and great for those who have allergies. Color. The color of the Havapu can vary a lot, too. Normally, they will be either brown, gray, tan, white or black. However, they are not always solid in color and can have different colored markings too. Temperament. This poodle mix is a pooch with an excellent temperament. Loving and friendly, these dogs just want to be around people and to show them affection. Suited to everyone, the Havapu will just want to spend their days by your side. Unfortunately, because they love people so much, they don't like to be left alone. Leaving them alone can result in separation anxiety, so this is something to think about if you are often out for hours at a time. Their love of people also means the Havapu isn't a good watchdog. They would much rather show a stranger love and affection rather than being aggressive with them. This energetic pup does require a fair bit of exercise, especially due to their poodle parents' working history, but they also love to play games and have fun with their owners. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? 
Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.